Good morning, friends. It's Miss Joan again from Haverhill Public Library, and it's, you guessed it, story time. Do you guys want to start by doing our story song with me? All right. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Okay, well, the first book I have today is Llama Llama Loves to Read. Have you guys read any of the llama books? They're some of my favorites. And this is by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama learns at school, counting, writing, reading, rules. Friends and school, there is nothing better. Llama learning all the letters. There he goes. He's right at school with all his friends. Letters make a special set. This set is called the alphabet. Do you guys know this one? Let's do it together, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job. Llama knows the first one, two, three. He can say them. A, B, C. And then there's D and next an E. And on it goes till X, Y, Z. Oh. He's a very smart llama. No two letters are the same, but every letter has a name. It can be said, it can be heard. Letters together make a word. So when you put the letters together, A-N-T spells ant, B-E-E -E spells bee, C-A-T spells, yes, cat, you guessed it. Llama Llama learning words, some he's seen and some he's heard, some he has to memorize with his brain and with his eyes. Llama Llama knows that one. He can read it. This is fun. Are you guys starting to know your letters? Llama Llama writes his name. And once again, just the same. First L, then L, then A-M-A. -A. What do all these letters say? Llama, Llama. Something to make a present of. L-O-V-E. That spells love. Words make rhythm, words make rhyme. Words make books for story time. Like us. Words tell truth. Words tell new things. Words make songs that we can sing. Words are the very best of presents. Words together make a sentence. So a sentence is a bunch of words together that tell you something. Llama's hoofs wave in the air. Some words are hard, it's just not fair. No need to frown, no need to pout. Just do your best and sound it out. No need for crying, moaning, bleeding. Hooray, Llama Llama's reading. The teacher holds the walking sign. Now it's time to make a line. How does Llama Llama know? G and O spell go, go, go. See her go sign right there? 
Lots of sentences. Take a look. Strung together, make a book. Look inside. Oh, what glory. All these words have made a story. <gasps> That's what we're reading. A story. Llama reads so many things. Fairy princess, pirate kings, shiny knights and dragon fights, under sea and up great heights. We can find all those things in a good book. Back to class and off they go, filled with all the words they know. Skipping, hopping, walking, line. <gasps> llama, llama, sees a sign. Do you know what that one says? And on that sign, what does he see? One S, one T, one O, one P. Stop. Llama knows that word says stop. No more skipping, no more hops. Llama reads the word out loud. Llama, llama, feeling proud. School is over, the day is done. Llama had a lot of fun. Who can't wait to read for Mama? You're a reader, Llama Llama. Words have magic power indeed. What else could a person need? Llama Llama loves to read. I love this book all about letters and words and sentences and stories and how your words can add up to a whole bunch of wonderful things. Do you guys have any books of your own? I was gonna give you an idea, just if you want a little something to do and all you need is a couple of pieces of paper. They can be big ones like this or they can be little ones. And you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them all together one in back of the other, and then you're gonna fold them in half. So put one side over to the other and go pinchy, 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 pinchy down the side to fold it. And then maybe you could have mommy help you or a grown up if you need, and you can put a staple in it, one up at the top and one at the bottom. And now do you know what you have? You have your own book and you can open the pages and you can write on them or draw on them. This is a book that you can make all by yourself about anything you want. I think it's cool how we have so many different words that mean so many different things, but I also have a very funny book. It's called Llama Phones, and it's about words that sound the same, but mean totally different things. You guys wanna read it with me? All right. See, like you and I see with our eyes. <gasps> see, like the ocean. Huh. See and see do sound the same. Let's, what about? Hmm. Pear, that's a piece of fruit, like an apple, sort of. And pear. That's two of the same things together, a pair of something. Huh. Ooh, what about this one? Sent, that means you sent something to a person, like a package or a letter. Or sent, like a penny is one cent, it's money. Let's see what other ones we have. Stairs, you have to go up the stairs. I'm sure you do that all the time. Stare. You stare at a person very hard with your eyes. <laughs> Ooh. Fairy, like a good fairy that does nice things for people. Or fairy, it's a kind of boat that carries a lot of things like cars and people to different places. Blue, like the wind, blue. 
or blue, like the color blue. There's a lot of these funny words, huh? How about hair? Some of us have short hair, some of us have very long hair. Or hair, it's another word for a rabbit, like hopping bunny rabbit. This is very silly. T, like a t-shirt that you wear. Or tea, like a kind of drink that you drink or maybe mommy drinks. Hmm. There's one more. Knight, like a knight in shining armor that slays dragons and lives in a castle. Or night, like nighttime. That's it, guys. That's all the stories I had today about llamas and words and fun things like that. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. High fives. Bye.